Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you will check out some of my videos and subscribe if you like what you see. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. My name is Liza Adele. I am currently pregnant with baby number two, and I have a two-year-old toddler named Camden. So today's video is just going to be another day in the life vlog, and Camden is actually napping right now, and it's like past 4 p.m. He ended up getting a really late nap in today, but at least he's napping so mama is gonna get ready to go ahead and cook dinner because I have to film my five-week pregnancy update tonight and you guys will probably have already seen that video before you see this one but today's video is exciting because it's sponsored by home chef and I love home chef they are like my favorite meal prep delivery service you guys every single thing I've ever tried from there is so so good I've never been disappointed and for busy stay-at-home moms like me well I guess technically work from home moms because I am a full-time YouTuber. It is just so convenient. It takes 30 minutes or less. It has everything that you need to cook your meal with like a step-by-step -step directions like idiot proof because you guys know I am not the best cook but Home Chef just makes it super easy and they're affordable. They give you all of the ingredients you need, the exact measurements you need so you don't have to measure anything out. It's literally just been a lifesaver for me. Oh and also before I forget I do have $30 off for you guys if you want to check out home chef which i highly recommend go ahead and click on the link down below in my description or i will leave it um, across the screen right here but it will get you 30 dollars off your first order at home chef okay so i just opened my home chef box and the two dinners that i picked out for this week are the empanada rice bowl with jalapeno chimichurri and crispy tortilla strips this looks so so good and then one sheet pretzel crusted chicken with roasted broccoli and honey mustard oh my god you guys know i love my honey mustard so this looks amazing as well i just asked alex what he wants me to cook tonight and he picked out the empanada rice bowl all you have to do is go on their website you can pick out what meals you like and what meals you want to try you can pick how many servings you want so it just depends on like the size of your family and then it just gets delivered straight to your door mm -hmm. Just the feeling of a distant melody unknown I was doing fine I minded my own business Till the day you took me home You came into my life Like a sweet embrace Swept me off my feet And made me whole again came in my life I want to see your face Never will I be Okay, is anyone getting like 90s Sloppy Joe vibes? <laughs> because I sure am and this is not a Sloppy Joe but it's just like the meat with the tomato sauce and everything it's just bringing me back. Okay, so I just put the rice down. I put the beef on top of it. And now I'm going to sprinkle some of this Chihuahua cheese. I am going to add some more chimichurri sauce. We have right here. And then I top it with some crunchy tortilla strips. Oh my god, you guys, this looks so, so good. Do you eat it with a fork or a, do you eat it with a fork? Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. Oh my god, that is better than any Chipotle burrito bowl I've ever had in my life. This is like a pregnant mom's dream right now. Mama. Yeah? Cold. It's cold in there? Oh, because of the ice packs? Mama. 
Yeah? Cold. Cold? Cold. Oh, I bet you don't want to get in there then, huh? Mama. Yeah? Ice packs. Ice packs. Camden. <laughs> what do you what do you think mommy's having a boy or a girl? Boy. Oh, you think it's a boy now? You think the the baby in mommy's belly is a boy? Or do you think it's a girl? Baby. There's a baby in my belly, right? What? So do you think it's a boy or a girl? Boy. A boy? Daddy wants it to be a boy. No. Yeah, he does. No. He wants another no, little no, boy. No, 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 no. Where's my belly? Da, da, no. You don't know? Da, da, no. Huh. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aw, that was a big kiss. Mm -hmm. A little kiss. Oh, you're going to be the best big brother. No. Yes. Sister. Sister, you want a sister? I knew you wanted a sister. I was wondering why you said boy. Do you want a brother or sister? Sister. Sister? Sister. Yeah. I told you guys, like, literally, that's all he says, is that he wants a sister. I don't know how he even knows what a sister is, but... Whoa! Careful! Oh, ah. What? Did you hurt your foot? Oh, okay. Do you want me to kiss it? Okay. What? You hurt your knee, too? Hurt me, too. Is that better? That's better. This is the saddest part of the day, you guys. The candle is pretty much done. How do you like your snack? Delicious. Delicious? Do you want to try some of Mommy's dinner? No. No? Is it a little too spicy for you? <laughs> What? A little too spicy for you. I'm probably going to end up making him some chicken meatballs or chicken nuggets. And what else do you want? Some sweet potato? Some, sweet. Pe some peas? Sweet potato. Sweet potato? You like sweet potato, don't you? Sweet potato, peas, mama. Okay. So, since Camden's been sick, we've been using the Zarbies Children Cough Syrup and Mucus Nighttime every night before he goes to bed. And it does cause drowsiness, so it does knock him out, like, throughout the night. I ended up not getting the Highlands because a few of you had told me that it had caused, like, it had harmed children and babies and it should be pulled off the shelves and all this crazy stuff. So I decided to steer clear of it and pick up Zarbies again, but I really do like this stuff. I think it helps him so much. And then... Um, I got the, the Nose Frida Saline Snot Spray has really helped as well. And then, of course, I have the Snot Sucker by Nose Frida. But honestly, you guys, Camden is like a champ with blowing his nose. So I, I rarely even need to use. There he goes. Cam, you need a tissue first, honey. Oh, my God. He blows snot rockets like in the middle of nowhere. No tissue. He'll just start blowing snot rockets. And I'm like, and like snot is just flying all over the place. Mama. Yes, I know you need a tissue, baby. You're supposed to wait and get a tissue before you blow your nose, okay? Here, go ahead. Whoa. See? Okay. He is like a pro when it comes to blowing his nose, so I rarely have to use the snot sucker, right? I YouTube. YouTube. I do. It's YouTube, not iTube. I do. Can you say you? No, say you. Ah. No, say you. Ah. You. Ah. What in the world? <laughs> you say hi, YouTube. Oh. <laughs> what? I gave your. I gave. I gave. Oh, is it. Do you have a cramp? Yeah. Okay. He's been getting like cramps in his hand lately. Is this, this isn't your trigger thumb, right? No, that's your trigger thumb. Show him your trigger thumb. And see, <laughs> see how it's turned like that, you guys? That's his trigger thumb. He only has it on one thumb. And I don't know if I've updated you guys recently on it. Um, a few of you have asked questions, but he does. He's, he's gonna have to go back to the specialist um, probably in like six months. 
if it, if it doesn't like work its way or if it doesn't fix itself. Um, do you want to get down? Get down. Okay. Me. Yeah, yeah. Yay. It's been, I don't know, like six, seven months now and it's still the same. So I'm thinking, oh my God, you guys, I'm so hot. I'm like having a hot flash. I'm thinking he is going to need surgery. And I think he has to go like under and everything. So it's just like, it's not going to be fun at all. Yes, honey. Daddy fun. Daddy fun. Daddy's still on the phone? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can't go downstairs just yet. Okay. Wait till he's off the phone. Okay. This is fun. Do you like going on evening strolls with mama? I need to take the back part off. Go ahead, pedal. <laughs> I need to turn this into just a regular trike. I am putting makeup on at almost 9 p.m. at night because I'm about to film my five week pregnancy update. So the video that I posted Monday, um, Oh my god the comments that i got about moving to utah i was shocked like literally everyone was like do not move there there were like there weren't that many comments saying to move there i mean there were a lot of people saying how beautiful it is but like so many of you guys were like i don't see you there it's so mormon you're gonna hate it it's such a culture shock you can't drink alcohol you, there's no coffee shops like the amount of people that just like were bashing utah was crazy like i was i was reading through the comments and i was just like oh my god it just it really made me like not excited for utah at all so and i told alex too i was like um my subscribers like kind of went ape shit when i said utah <laughs> like they were not for utah and i mean i know ultimately it's my decision and alex's decision but i'm really gonna have to do a lot more research and visit Utah because now I'm just thinking like oh my god like I feel like you guys know me so well and you kind of I feel like y'all can see like where I'm meant to be or where I could live and be happy because you guys see my life you guys know everything about my life so it's like I do value your opinion but obviously like I have to make my own mind up I have to go visit Utah and like all that stuff I'm gonna let you know it is not one of my top places it is I think it is a place that we're going to consider just because Alex really likes it. But for me, like, I'm still all about Nashville. I'm still all about Brentwood. Um, my, it's still my number one top choice. And I still want to go to the South over anything. I also had some people, like, bringing up the moving away from family thing again. I, I know it's such a big deal to move away from family. And I'm not taking that lightly at all. Like, that is the one reason we would stay. And we still don't know if we're going to move out of state or not. Some people don't understand why we want to move away when we are close to family right now. And there's no real reason to move away. Like, it's not like we're moving for, like, a job or anything like that. And I just want to say, I have lived here my whole life and so has Alex. We were born and raised in the DC area. We've done everything there is to do around this area. Like, I'm over it. You know what I mean? I'm 31 years old. We've started our own family. I want something new, something fresh. I want to start new traditions in a new place with friendlier people, honestly, because, like, DC is rough. I don't know. Everyone said that it's going to be, like, super hard, especially when I have another baby and I have two kids. But you guys, Alex works from home, so I will have his support. I will have his help. Um, I don't think I would be considering moving to another state without my family there if Alex had to go into like an office job every day. I do think that that would probably be too difficult for me. I think that I could do it, but I think that it would be lonely and it would be hard for me. With our budget, a house that we get here is just like a nice sized house, not that much land. But if we take that same budget that we have and we move to somewhere like Tennessee, we could get an enormous, beautiful new house with so much land, so much room for Camden to run around. Like we could have, you know, a swing set in the backyard and like a patio and like all this stuff. And I don't think you guys understand that where I live, it costs so much for land. So 
even if you have a huge house, you're not going to have any land around you unless you're paying millions and millions of dollars for the house. Um, and that's just how it is where I live. And I'm sick of it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. So, you can get so much more for your money in other areas is what I'm trying to say. And that is a big reason why I want to move. Along with friendlier people in the South and just starting somewhere fresh and starting our own family traditions and just, I don't know. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like people are kind of like judging me on the fact that I want to move away and my family is here and that I'm just willing to up and leave when that's not it at all. We do have like the next few months to think about it because we're not really going to make a decision until um, like January. That's when we're going to decide whether we're going to leave or not. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Home Chef and my coupon code and link it down below for $30 off which again is such a freaking good deal you guys you need to go take advantage of it and try out home chef and let me know how you liked it please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one bye middle of the road it's just a feeling of a distant melody unknown